Hey guys, back on the Chinese EQs. I know I'm getting sick of looking at them. That's the way I get. This is the sixth cut. Some of the things we did on this is I gave it a little more bowl ratio on the intake. I gave the short side radius some layback. I opened up the straight wall, made it a little straighter. And I made the pinch a bit wider on the shared wall. Did it help? Well, that's an interesting question. As far as our liquid, we look pretty good. We got a decent wide swath. You got a lot of coverage on the valve. We've got quite a bit of the chamber covered. We've got quite a bit of the bore covered. I'm good with the liquid flow at this point. Okay, down its throat. Really doesn't look that much different. In fact, that straight wall doesn't look that much different, but it got a lot of got a lot of metal taken out of it and uh, we'll see if that actually made any difference at all okay the short side radius is not polished it's still burred because I'm finalizing the shape of it it did get laid back it didn't get much of the apex taken off of and it was brought out a little bit wider because of the excessive air speeds well guess what didn't help. Okay, on the exhaust, I decided it was CSA. Just by the roof near that guide and the floor. Well, I don't want to lower the floor. So what did I do? I took the sidewalls out a bit and I raised the roof a bit. We've got tons of metal on this port. We can make it quite a bit bigger. But I don't necessarily want it huge. It's already better than the intake port. So this may stay this way until we uh, finalize the intake port with the intake manifold on it. This is probably more than enough right now. Okay, sixth cut, fifth cut. These, num these pluses and minuses in reference to these, how'd we do? Eh, we did okay, not great. Plus, minus, equals, minus, plus, 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 plus. Whereas this one got violently lost after it lost it over the, the short side, this one was not as bad. So the work on the short side radius is showing itself here. It didn't top out that much different, though. This was 268.2 at 485. This is 270 at 480. Okay, that crazy short side is designed for lower lifts, right? Now that we're pushing it closer to 600 lift, I'm thinking that fin may need to go like we did on that uh, on that other head. What did we do? That was the uh, was the stock magnum. We took that off, right? This still has the stock chamber. It still has the stock fin on the floor, and we're able to just squeak out. 267 and change at 500. Not necessarily bad for a street engine, okay? Are we okay at 300? We got a few more CFM, not much really. For the amount of work it took to do all of that, it really didn't it didn't make that big a difference, you know, like 222.6 to 225. A couple here and there. How do we do on the swirl? You got minus, minus, plus, plus, plus in the meat. Minus, plus, plus, minus. Okay, at 600, we got more swirl than we need. In fact, the whole curve has more swirl than we need. So what we really need to do is try to get more out of the center of the cylinder in that port. That's the wall we don't want to make too thin, so it makes it more difficult, right? Let's take a look at our air speeds. Okay, as far as our air speeds on that intake port, that's what we had. This is what we've got, right? I gave it a little more area at the push rod pinch, took, took away a little bit of air speed. As far as the roof, the roof wasn't touched, but notice how much different the air speeds are. Not a huge difference, but a difference, and there's a bigger division between them, right? The delta in speed is, is more now. Okay, and as far as the short side, it was bad. 
and it's worse. Well, I don't know if it's worse, but it's not great. 445 on the center is pretty high, okay? But that layback actually caused more air to go around the short side, which is why we wind up getting better flows at the higher lifts, right? And it also changed our, our swirl quite a bit. Let's see what happened when we made that uh, exhaust port a little bigger. Okay, fifth cut, fifth cut, sixth cut. Sixth cut flow on the exhaust. I made that uh, port a little bit bigger on the roof and the sidewalls. How do we do? Well, you got a plus, you got a minus, you still got noise, but you got a minus and a minus, and then it got a little better in the mid-range. We do have a couple decent pickups. 154 to 165, not bad, but it really doesn't top out much better, okay? I'm going to say it's definitely not a complete win. Now, this was polished, this is burr. That does make a difference. I may polish it and call it a day because I think he's got inch and seven eighth headers that get bigger. I forget the numbers he gave me. But in any case, take a look what happened with our airspeeds. This is where we were with airspeeds, and they were good, quite good, actually. And this is where we are. We got minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Relatively uh, even across. Right? We got a little more speed in the middle. Even our dead mid middle of the bottom came up a touch. Really not bad. In fact, it's quite good. So making it bigger doesn't make a big difference. So, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do with this is we're going we're gonna to sit on this. I still have another whole head to do the valve job on. Actually, i gotta, I got to... Give the guides a quick hone, do the valve job, which is probably the rest of the day. And then bring that porting up to this. So I got two more days probably just to bring the other EQ Magnum up to snuff with this one. And then the uh, intake will show up and we'll start another whole, another whole series. And we'll cry as soon as we hook up a huge single plane up to that intake port. Don't believe me? That's all right. It's okay. We'll find out. We will find out, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.